Hello. Good to see you. Thank you. I <clears throat> have, ladies and gentlemen, um, to report that uh, the Peace Implementation Council has met yesterday and today here in Sarajevo. Uh, the meeting has been concluded. We have adopted a final communique. In the wake of our discussions, I would like to address the one issue, the issue that is on my mind at the moment. And uh, we discussed this very intensely. Bosnia and Herzegovina has a historical opportunity. After the elections and the encouraging progress made in the formation of institutions and governments, Bosnia and Herzegovina now has chance to advance on the Euro-Atlantic path. Your candidacy status could become a welcome first step. I have to say that this is not yet done. This is to the decision of the European Council in Prague next week. And there was an encouragement and expectation that the institutions here are doing their work. This means especially legislative acts and going ahead with institutional building. So this standards, a status would become a first step and then begins the real work. The status does not mean that BIH will become a member automatically. Nothing substantial happens without effort, not in life and not certainly in politics. Uh, we agreed that uh, we will continue to support the way of Bosnia-Herzegovina to keep the multi-ethnic democratic uh, society. And we have seen that after a long time of lethargy, it's, things are beginning to shift. Uh, we have to seize this momentum. For long times, people have been waiting for this country to take decisive step towards a stable, prosperous future. This is the occasion for politicians in this country to serve the people in BIH and improve their lives. It will be a tough job and it requires persistence, hard work and true commitment but it's possible. Honestly, it's critical. Bosnia and Herzegovina should, and I believe it will, become part of the European family, family as soon as possible. Polit politicians are elected to make decisions and acts. The elections, some of them showed they will act, this is a good sign. I hope that the times of constant blockades have ended and be sure that uh, I will contribute with the international community in a dialogue uh, and go on. We expect that the institution building will be made in due time. There is no place for blockade. So the time for pointless political maneuvers is over. Bosnia-Herzegovina must be able to show its functions, both politically and economically, and that reforms can implement it. This um, requires that we go uh, in the country's interests, and um, this includes that we go about state of law, we have had um, very intense um, and good um, uh, discussion yesterday with the um, Chief Prosecutor Kaganic, with uh, the President of the Court of BIH, Anko Dibevic, and with, with Mr. President Lagumcia, the President of the High Judicial and uh, Prosecutor Council. So we discussed very intensely and we uh, underlined that uh, we expect and we will support in having 
uh, appropriate legislation being done. Today, we had discussed um, an exchange with uh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives of the PIH Parliament, uh, with uh, Denis Dvicic, uh, who referred about uh, the legislative key priorities and work in the Parliament in general. Uh, we found it um, encouraging that uh, the agenda is set and uh, things are going ahead. We expect that um, this will be done in due time. We will look on uh, the development not only in the legal context, but as well on the issue of the election integrity. Uh, we have intensely talked about some experiences people have made with uh, the shortfall in integrity of elections. And um, whenever it happens, uh, this is encouragement for us to continue with the improvement of the legislative basis and of the possibilities technically to avoid any uh, electoral fraud. Uh, so this is a very clear announcement and uh, we're very, very happy to hear that the um, chief prosecutor uh, as well uh, commented on the fast uh, following up of any accuses of electoral fraud over the elections of 2nd October. They have to be made sacrifices, sometimes painful compromises to move this country forward. So I, we, we, we hope that um, uh, there will be a distinction between the party's interests and the interests of the country and the people. We referred especially this, uh, that the moving ahead of European integration is dedicated to the young people here in the country. The appeal I'm giving is stay here, help to work uh, this country becoming a good place uh, in the Western Balkans and in Europe and um, uh, we invite you to contribute and let us help to build a better state of law situation as uh, we find in these days. I believe you are prepared to, to um, do that, uh, I think, as shown in the swift progress in the formation of institutions and governments. I will say one thing from my experience in politics uh, that uh, this is now not the time uh, for playing with the electorate. And um, we will following the common, coming days and weeks very, very intensely. That is um, uh, to call, seize the opportunity, refute the cliche of uh, sometimes is given to the Balkans, make decisions, adopt laws, act, and I'm pretty sure um, that there are a lot of responsible people in this country having uh, understood and um, uh, are working in this way. So the big challenges are ahead of you, of us, that is true, but they are worth the effort. The unblocking of institutions paves the way for real sustainable reforms they will be, have to be done. There are a lot of things where we have shortfalls. There are, but to be optimistic and to be positive, there has been re as, uh, perceived a lot. And we see that some legislation has brought on the way, uh, referring to procurement law, hoping that uh, uh, Europol uh, will make its way. We were very confident that we could manage internationally without any, um, uh, anonymously, um, that uh, UFO Altea will remain. 
So the two, the two Dayton institutions, the UFO Altea and the High Representative got a lot of support and encouragement from the international community um, to do their work. And uh, they both feel that it's necessary to contribute um, to the country's development. You will find in our um, final communique uh, more details about what we have uh, discussed and uh, where we uh, are going to. I just wanted to uh, uh, add that we will have um, a focus especially on the coordination of financial support to Bosnia-Herzegovina, uh, conditionality uh, with uh, uh, all the responsible organizations. This will be the work of the next uh, month and weeks. So thank you very much.